Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Leon the Professional. What do you know about this? I know that this is Natalie Portman's maybe first movie. Yeah, I think it might be her first or like second or something, but it's, it's up there. Okay, and um, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, so I have seen this movie. I love this movie, it's fantastic. But it's been a while and I don't even know what version I saw because I guess there's multiple versions. I think I probably saw The Professional, which is maybe the shorter version. So today we were watching Leon the Professional, which is the extended one. So there might be a handful of stuff that not only do I not remember, but I never even saw. Right. So don't exactly know what the differences are, but we got a lot of recommendations and there were some mixed reviews, I feel like, on which version to watch. But hopefully, since this is longer, it's kind of all encompassing. But technically, this is only your first time watching Leon the Professional. Yes. So I love this movie. I can't wait to watch it again and I can't wait to see your reaction to it. Yeah, I'm excited. I've heard nothing but good things about this, so I'm very excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Hey, okay, Gary Oldman. Central Park is so crazy to me. I know, it's so massive. And it's just like in the middle of this giant city. It's gotta be worth like trillions of dollars of real estate. Now you know, Maurizio is a reasonable guy. But this guy, he don't want to hear about it. I like the close-ups to the face. Are you free Tuesday? Yeah, I'm free Tuesday. Perfect reflection. Right. There's a characteristic about him that I relate to a lot. The milk? The love for milk. As the shadow goes over him. It's Tonto downstairs. There's a guy who wants to talk to you. What's he look like? Serious. <laughs> Pretty serious. He's coming up. When he's coming up, somebody serious. Straight into it. Yeah. Open your eyes. We got company. Oof, that's a lot of guns. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. This is like one guy against all these guys. Stop, stop, man. <laughs> oh. Tell the driver to wait for us out back and hurry up. Tag him? Yeah. Gotta be the stairs. Oh, that's a lot of stairs. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Dang. That scared me. <laughs> Where is that guy? Guy in the security oh, room. I don't know. Yeah, he's in one of these rooms. <laughs> oh, the noises. Just snapped his neck. <laughs> Systematically took them all out. Oh my god. Somebody's trying to kill me. All right, just stay on the line. I'll just be off a moment. Is that girl still in there? I don't remember where she went. Shot of his back. Oh, just like the heartbeat. Uh... <laughs> that was so cool, just emerging from the shadows. I own this number. Interesting you didn't- oh, there she is. Uh, I'll talk to you later, sweetie. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> she looks super young. Yeah. I see you're back in town. Yeah. No, I mean, no. We'll never see your fat fucking face. <laughs> Make sure he understands. And let him go. Huh. He got lucky, I guess. Do you understand? <laughs> I understand. Just the way he came in. Just disappears into the dark. <sighs> wow. Hola. ¿Qué tal, amigo? Priorities. <laughs> I like that they're in a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
how convenient. So this right next door. She's so tiny and smoky. <laughs> and smoking. Why did you hide a secret? <laughs> this building's full of rats. I don't want my old man to find out. Hmm. Yeah. In June, we gave you the dope. It tests 100% pure. You pick up the dope, and it tests 90% pure. Oof. June and July, 10% turned to cut. I don't know. Cinema. That's a good portion. Because he's got a talent for sniffing out a lie. It's scary. I'm telling you the truth. <sighs> Oof. The sound. It's like a low bass. It's literally sniffing him out. This is so weird. And terrifying. <laughs> hey, I didn't cut your shit. Find out yourself. Oof. Kind of assumed her dad was one of the other guys. <laughs> I didn't realize. It's a simple man, shower and milk. <laughs> You sleep like that? The lady and death. Death. <laughs> Oof. I'm not the one with the fat ass around. <laughs> Move a little less and go get some food. You don't dare to say that again. It's dysfunctional family. I'm too far this time. I think you're going a little too far right now. I'm <laughs> one. Now <laughs> with can hit by everyone. Now Matilda left school without permission nearly two weeks ago. Just skipping school. She's dead. It's her sister then, I'm guessing? No, she's Matilda. Oh. How did they not realize she wasn't at school? They're, they're shitty parents. Love has made me. Not really the routine you would expect for a... Hitman? Yeah, for a master <laughs> hitman. I'm going grocery shopping. You want some milk? <laughs> oh sweet. I feel like this dad's gonna have to get it <laughs> at some point. It's gonna be the drug lords or ten percent, yeah. <laughs> At least she's not there. It's a lot of people. coming from everywhere. I have no idea what that is. Why did he break it? <laughs> when you put your head to the grass, you can hear the insects. Just a straight psycho. Man, this guy didn't even make sure that his family was gone. <gasps> Just ruthless. We said noon. It's the hard stop of the music. <sighs> Touch the apartment. Where's your little brother? Oof. That death was brutal. Oh. Not a good idea. I mean, I guess he doesn't really have a any choice. Other choice. His wife and daughter are already dead. Jeez. Oh. Bitch, mate, forget about it. Calm down. Definitely unhinged. Did this guy get shot from out there? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Betty! Doesn't seem fit for the job. <laughs> Why don't you leave him alone? He said, go back inside. Oh, I thought he was gonna <laughs> shoot her. Look what you did. You killed a four-year-old kid! Oh no! He got hit when he was running. That was cool. Just like the bright light? Yeah. Hey, we missed a little girl, man. 
Uh oh. Just go, man. Don't you recognize me? <laughs> me. Ooh, at least he didn't see a picture of her. Yeah. There it is. It's the cops outside. We better go. You stay here. What? Tell them we were doing our job. His uh, number two, when the old lady came out, he said, go back inside, ma'am. We're the cops. Oh, right. I did hear him say that. So those are police officers. Oh, I thought he was lying. <laughs> Seen better days. <laughs> He's trying. That's sweet. What's your name? Liam. Cute name. <laughs> it's a crazy arsenal. How much would it cost to hire someone to get those dirt back? Five grand a head. It's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, the bed wasn't being used, anyways. Very true. is he doing she's a hindrance to his life he's a hitman he can't really have a kid living around I like there's a lot of steps before just murdering <laughs> her in her sleep well he didn't go through with it <laughs> oh improvised since he didn't have his bed <laughs> i'm gonna be a cleaner yeah take it it's a goodbye gift <laughs> go clean throw me out now it's like you never opened your door you let me die right there in front of it Good point. I don't think you could do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> How's that? Just blasted the street below him. <laughs> Imagine how much different this would be if the old lady took her in. <laughs> His plant. And stop saying okay all the time, okay? Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, you're lucky to have a little girl that's interested in things. <laughs> like killing people. She's a charmer, though. I need time to get my head together. Yeah, and I need milk, a drink. <laughs> Don't move. Nobody uses that, so beginners. I like to stay in shape. <laughs> Make sure it's the right thing. I trust you. One thing's got nothing to do with the other. Some good advice. Huge. The rifle is the first weapon you learn how to use. That's to keep your distance from the client. That's what I was thinking. I was like, she can stay far away. Yeah. They actually have someone, or are they just <laughs> practicing? No. <laughs> and it reflects light. You can see you coming from a mile away. Some valuable tips. Never bright than the floor. Okay. Are we going to be experts <laughs> by I, the end of this? I hope so. <laughs> Watch his movement. Pretend you're running with him. Take a deep breath. Hold it. Can't be a bullet in here. <laughs> it's about to blast this guy away. No. Ah, oh, my God. oh, is it a paintball? <laughs> One shot, not bad, huh? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Pretty good shot. Yeah, how far away was she? <laughs> Keeping up her end of the bargain, doing all the cleaning and... <laughs> no discussion. <laughs> Strong bones. How dare you? <laughs> Gotta know this she's one. She's doing good. Yeah, she's great. No. <laughs> Just singing in the rain. Gene Kelly? Good. <laughs> I'm getting very attached to this plant. Right? It's like the third person. Taking her to work? Kind of. <laughs> it's your money. I mean, I'm just holding it for you. You know, like a bank. With old Tony, nothing to read, nothing to write. I know how to read now. All right. Just kind of kept him only as a killer and nothing else. Okay, I no, know. No, no, come on. Come mm -hmm. on, take it. Have some fun. Go ahead, take it. That's so sad. Yeah. 
I mean, he discussed money with Matilda, so I assumed he was making money. Well, he probably thinks he's making a lot of money, but... Still smoking. I want you to stop smoking, Ruthie. Stay away from him, looks like a weirdo. <laughs> I think I'm kind of falling in love with you. <laughs> How do you know it's love if you've never been in love before? Because I feel it. You're in my stomach. I always had a knot there. It's gone. Matilda, I'm glad you don't have a stomach ache here. <laughs> I don't think it means anything. I just see it as someone's finally taking care of her like a parent should be. She just feels safe, finally. Right. She's never felt that before. I do not like this music. Yeah, he hasn't gotten a job in a while. Now there's a lot more to lose. Yeah. Those glasses, like, severely change his face. Right? Makes him so, like, intimidating. Yeah. I forgot they were in a hotel. He's my lover. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why? Such a red flag. Hey, where are you going? Visiting friends at 6J. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Just bullet holes everywhere. Oh. Oh wow. She knew her dad's secret hiding place. The guy was here. He went for his gun. Bang. We shot him. Pretty straightforward. I haven't got time for this Mickey Mouse bullshit! Oof. Thought he was gonna walk by her. Yeah. DEA. Not just a standard cop. Yeah. Oof. He got shot? I think he did. Like... Yeah. How do you like it? Yeah. I see. <laughs> Can I have a word with you? <laughs> Location number three. <laughs> Oof. Sewing it up himself. I have to sleep with one eye open for the rest of your life. Just trying to protect her. Yeah, all he knows is killing. If I win, you keep me with you for life. This is Russian roulette? It's to you if I end up with a bullet in the head, huh? Nothing. Oof. I think that in a few minutes you'll regret you never said anything. Definitely do not remember this scene. Oh my god. I win. <sighs> so tired of these games. I know she's young, but she learns fast. She's 18. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, she has her own little bag. <laughs> First you find out where the chain is. Can't see it, but you can feel it. Here. Whoa. The light's out. It's all dark out here. I'm scared. <laughs> if it leaves your mouth, I pull the trigger. Capisci? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> she seems a little freaked out. It's her first time. Is she gonna get her first kill? <laughs> Aim for the heart and larynx. There. This poor guy. <laughs> the first shot takes him out of her. The second finishes him. <laughs> Just training her. If they can recognize the client, you don't get paid. Oh, you ruin the face, you don't get paid. I wondered that. Hey, mister! Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a terrible pour. <laughs> Man, they're killing a lot. The same routine for everyone. You got it down pat now. There's no doorbell. So knock on the door. Oh, this one's different. But it's all dark out here in the hall, and I'm lost. Just a second. Hmm. No. Ooh! Rintrin? Come on, asshole. I'm waiting. Show it to me, motherfucker. Oh! That's the ring trick. <laughs> the ring trick? 
That definitely uh, made things go pretty fast. Yeah. Just chuck a grenade inside. Get the chair. Sit down. Sit. Yeah, what's going on? He's like kind of flighty. Yeah. Something happens to me someday. They all, nothing's gonna happen. I mean, they did just have a close call. I'd like you to give her my money. You can count on me, Liam. There's no money, though. I'm sure. I love all of the music. Yeah, the music's great. Still smoking. Where's the plant? I haven't seen the plant in a while. <laughs> there it is. Still being taken care of. Her diet is way worse than milk. I'll do 10 for 12. I'll pay now for the rest of the year, okay? Okay. I was like, holy shit, this worked. <laughs> She's got her own glasses, her own hat, her own little bag. Uh, oh. It's a pretty big step up. Wow. Clever little trick. Oh, I'm panicking. She was still doing like baby jobs. Well, and she wasn't really doing mm, anything. Exactly. The bathroom? Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Italian food. <laughs> He's so good at being so weird. What's your name, Angel? Matilda. Do you like life, sweetheart? Just toying with her. Malky was making a buy for us from the Chinaman. This guy came from the outside. Oh. Fucking came out of nowhere. Boom. Shoots the Chinaman dead in two seconds. I'm a cop. No women, no kids. He's taking him out. Did you take her up to my office? All right. Yeah. There's a loose cannon. Oh, yeah. Scares the shit out of his own guys. Whoa. That's cool. So many cool shots in this. Yeah. I left you 20 grand on the table. It's for a contract. You can finally read it. <laughs> Ooh. Millie. Bullets. It's not even Karen anymore. He's just going in strong. <laughs> Straight in the DA office. Just kills two of them. Uh, Manolo. He knew it was Italian food. A little 12-year-old girl comes into my office, armed to the teeth. Italian hitman. I'm dying to meet him. Sleep well? I never really sleep. <laughs> no, I never saw someone with one eye open snore so much. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, beds are actually kind of nice. Uh-oh. Tony had no choice. Whoa! Is there a code, a way of knocking so he knows it's you? Ooh. Smart girl. It's a lot of guys, though. It is a lot of guys. If anyone can do it, though, it's him. <laughs> You didn't think that they could get more people in the building. I love that everyone scream. That's what his uh, <laughs> crunches his, are for? All his crunches. Go take a look. <laughs> you see anything? <laughs> he's here, he's got a gun in my head. <laughs> I'll back away. Oh, just annihilate him. We're in a bad way here. Send the cats. I repeat, send the cats. The cats? No idea. Just lighten this place up. Oof. 
So scary. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta save the plant. Oh man. But Leon, it's not big enough for you. What? Listen to me. Not going! Listen I won't me. go! Listen to me. Save it so I won't break. Running out of time. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Just blew the whole apartment up. Yeah. We've got one breathing here. Need a hall. Let it through. Is this like a Hannibal, <laughs> Hannibal situation? Pretty much. Threw on a different outfit. <laughs> None of them know what he looks like, right? No. They just knew the location. 200 men and you can't find one man and a girl? Did you find the girl? So much destruction inside, they can't even tell that she went down the wall. Put it down this one. Does he know? Looks like he knows. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, out! It's gonna be a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, at least she grabbed the plant. <laughs> she looks so suspicious. <laughs> I love this point of view through the mask. Oh, this is like, no. Just the music, the way the lighting changed. Such a sad moment, but it's so perfectly shot. Stansfield, at your service. The ring trick? <laughs> this is from Matilda. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Leon asked me to help you out if, uh, if something happened. Oof. I ain't got no work for a 12-year-old kid. Leon's dead! Come on, you think I ain't hurting too? I mean, clearly he uh, didn't talk for a, a while after getting beat. Poor thing's all alone. Yeah. Wondered if she'd end up back here. The school they called in the beginning? Yeah. You have to stop lying to me, Matilda. I want you to take a chance. I don't believe her. <laughs> My family got shot down by DA officers. I left with the greatest guy on earth. He was a hitman. But he died this morning. And if you don't help me, I'll be dead by tonight. Oh, she's gonna plant it. Give it roots. I think we'll be okay here, Leon. All right, that was Leon the Professional. What'd you think? I loved that. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, just kind of gonna rattle off all the things that I liked. The music and the sound. I know I made multiple comments throughout, and so did you. I mean, the music selection was so good. It was like relaxing in some parts, and then in others, it was- Stressful. Yeah, it just kind of put you right into the moment. And, but it wasn't like over the top and it never was like distracting. No, it was never like the main focus, mm -hmm. but there was a couple times where it just like creatively just like, it just abruptly stopped. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of like totally changed the mood. Yeah, and then just also use of sound. We had the heartbeats. Yeah, and um, and some like low like bass moments yes. and stuff that were kind of like when he would emerge from the shadows or something. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I really enjoyed the sound of the movie as well, which is something that I didn't really notice when I saw this. It must have been, I don't know, like 15 years or something since I've seen this movie. But that was definitely something that I picked on watching it again. Yeah. And then Natalie Portman. Yeah. I mean, obviously phenomenal actress in the stuff that we've seen her in more as an adult. Yeah. As a child actress, like she was incredible. Incredible. Now, the moment where like I knew that this was like this movie was gonna blow my mind was 
the scene where she walks past her house or her like room where her family has just been killed and she goes up to the door and she's just like it's just shot on her and she's yeah. just like crying like please let me in please let me in and then the door opens and it like shines like light on her face and she kind of like gives this look of like oh my god i was just saved like that 30 second performance it blows some actors careers out of the water yes i completely agree that part stood out immensely and then obviously i mean the cinematography in that scene as well yeah just put it over the top oh yeah um but she was just incredible i mean i feel like she did a great job kind of playing a child that was mature yeah it like the roles were definitely reversed she was a child that was unfortunately in a situation where she had to be very very mature she was practically raising her little brother so she was already like in this mom role mm -hmm. you know she was being abused by her like shitty parents like so her parents weren't even her parents didn't even know that she hadn't even been in school for weeks so she was very much like a child adult and then leon he is an adult but he knows nothing other than killing practically he can't read he can can't write um so he's kind of like childlike so they kind of just swapped each other's personalities yeah yeah i hadn't really thought about it like that but you're right i like that yeah then she just is so like captivating and i feel like obviously that was part of matilda was that she was able to kind of manipulate people and you know she was tough oh yeah so but i just it was just all so good like natalie portman just portrayed everything perfectly obviously you know she had so much trauma in her life and then she hooked on to leon and it was she had like an unhealthy love for him it was definitely unhealthy from her point of view yeah um but leon never really entertained that yeah in a situation where she had to be so mature and then she lost everything and then here's this savior uh you know she definitely developed some unhealthy attitudes toward him which yeah. you know i mean they kind of played with a little bit whenever she would say something like a little over the line he would be drinking milk at the same time and then just like cough up all over himself like what are you talking about yeah like hold on yeah let's back up here yeah but then also their relationship like i really liked their relationship she brought out like a side of him oh yeah that like kind of like you said where he was kind of you know all he knew was killing and this was like a real relationship for him and he grew to love her and he was from the very get-go that scene where she's at his door asking to be let in he protected her yeah obviously in the beginning after she was in there she was safe he's like all right like no <laughs> <laughs> but i loved like i love the use of like the paintball guns Right, like he still treated her like a child. And I like that scene where the first time they go to the Italian place and she's outside and she's like talking to that guy. And he, that's like such like a dad moment where yeah. he just like comes out and he's like, what are you doing? Like, don't curse, don't talk, like, don't talk to boys. You're too young to talk to boys. Like, don't smoke cigarettes. Like it was the first time in her life where she was probably parented. Like yeah. she had like a father figure who was like telling her what to do. Yeah. Even though she didn't listen, she kept smoking, but but still she was a rebel. Um, but yeah, no, their, their relationship was definitely great. It was, at least for me, especially in the version that I saw, it's very much more a like father-daughter relationship mm -hmm. and like a protector type of thing. And I'll talk about that later between the differences between the two versions. But uh, I really enjoyed their relationship. Yeah, no, it was good. And, you know, you have her pushing it. She's always pushing it. And then, you know, the moment that she's in that uh, hotel and she tells the man in the lobby that they're lovers, I think, <laughs> yeah. or she said something like that. And I was just like, oh, no. And, oh. Then, <laughs> and they're just like, that's the another location that they need to leave. Yeah. And the facial expressions on their face, they like, they don't say anything in that scene, but you could tell he's super pissed. And she's just like, she's just acting out like a, like a, just a normal kid would. Yeah. But yeah, no, that was great. Uh, Gary Oldman. 
incredible. Yeah, he plays such a fantastic villain. Yeah, like you just hate him. Yeah, I mean, from the very beginning, like how he's described as like, oh, he's listening to his music. You don't want to upset him when he's listening to his music and you don't even see his face. And then he does that like slow turn and then just starts sniffing the guy. It's just like from right away, you're like, holy crap, this guy's on a different level. Yeah. Then he takes that like little pill and he like does like a little... <laughs> like creepy move and it's just like what is this guy doing comes in starts talking about classical music after he just blows away the mom and the daughter like without remorse i mean all of his men in that one scene they're like panicking yeah they're like uh, they get scared when he walks past them in the hall the guy outside is like holy shit what's going on in there like he is just on another level of terrifying compared to anyone else in the movie yeah no he is so unhinged yeah <laughs> but Gary Oldman just plays like a fantastic unhinged <laughs> yeah. villain. And speaking of in the beginning when they're there and, you know, they kill her, Matilda's entire family, you'd mention the cop aspect of it. And I heard them say that and I just thought they were lying. Yeah. In the beginning, it does seem like it's a, uh, just a lie to get the old lady to go inside. Yeah. But then when all of the cop cars are coming and then they're not like panicking to yeah. leave. And then he's like, oh, you just stay here and explain. Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah. Like, <laughs> explain what? Hi, I'm a criminal and killed everyone. Like, <laughs> That was a crazy twist that the it's villains of the story were the cops. Yeah. The dirty cops. Um, DEA. Dirty to, DEA. Yeah, yeah, to be specific. And that scene was brutal in the beginning when they just like shoot up her apartment. Like the mom, I mean... She kind of got lucky that she was just like in the tub with her music. She probably didn't even know. She probably didn't what even happened. know what happened. She was just listening to music and then all of a sudden she's dead. Yeah. The sister, though, the older sister, like hers, I mean, she was running through that house like panicking. Yeah. She probably was the most aware of what was going on. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the little boy, that was, you know, he dies. It was an accident. With how crazy he is, you wonder what he would have done if they found the little boy alive. But, you know, he was just running away. He probably had no idea what was going on. It was just scary, loud noises. So he's just running, and it's the one guy who's panicking, just I believe, shooting, who's just yeah. shooting wildly, who probably hits him through the wall. That was sad, though. Yeah. And it was interesting, you know, we, we see the mom, we see the sister, but I liked that they didn't have to show... Yeah. scene um, with her brother. Um, obviously, we hear about it. Yeah, you hear about it at the perfect time when Matilda's walking past. So that's the thing that she hears right as she was walking. Yeah. Um, so I, I was just about to say, it was great that they didn't show that. They left it up to your imagination. And then they revealed it at a time for us, but also for a character in the movie that was super impactful. Yeah. Yeah, that was the moment that she knew because I don't think, I mean, it was very clear that she did not care about any other person in her family. No, but she loved her little brother. Yeah, so that was really sad. And then obviously the part where she goes back to the house and she has her bunny and then she ends up standing in the chalk. Yeah, brutal. Yeah, that was, that was really sad. I mean... You don't see anything. It's just... We, you know what that chalk outline represents. Yeah, it's so sad for her. They set it up perfectly to kind of make all of these guys just super evil. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get towards the end of the movie, it's just craziness for like the last like 20, 30 minutes of the movie with Matilda going into the DEA office, trying to take him out by herself. And he does like the reveal behind the door, doesn't even realize who she is. I don't think he ever saw a picture, so he didn't probably put it together. Or even if he did, he probably he still wouldn't remember her. He just, you know, knows that he's an evil bad guy, so there's always people out to get him, so he puts it together that it's the Italians. Yeah. Totally freaked out for Matilda, and the fact that Leon just bursts into the DA, like just walks right past the metal detector, punches the guy, goes up the elevator without hesitation, just kills those two guys, and he's out of there. Yeah. Like, that, he had the taxi waiting for him. He had the taxi waiting for him. Like, that was just, you know, we've seen him being so cold and calculated on all of these kills. Um, but this was just like, he clearly did not care for his own safety. Yeah. He had one goal, and that was to get Matilda out. And nothing was going to stop him from doing that. 
And so you feel like a certain level of safety until the whole, you know, Tony shakedown scene. And then, yeah, when she's just walking back and she gets grabbed, she smartly. That was so clever. Yeah, she gives him the wrong code and then you're just, you're off. I feel like from the second that she showed up at the DEA's office and she was outside, um, I think it was at like a, a food cart or something that she was kind of sitting outside waiting for them. From that moment on, my legs were just like shaking like with suspense. Yeah. I was just nervous for them and my anxiety was like high just waiting to see what was gonna happen. That bathroom scene was just so disturbing. Gary Oldman's character went from like, you know, he's kind of interrogating her in like a nice way though. And he's like, I'm sorry, like I killed your brother. And then it just turns and he is just like so evil. Yeah. Like the things that he's saying to her and I'm like, Wait, what? Like you were just apologizing? Right. It's almost like when he says that line of like, oh, I don't enjoy killing people. But then he goes, I don't enjoy killing people who don't respect life or yeah, something. Yeah, who so don't like, have like a will to live essentially. Right. So it's essentially like, oh, I really like killing people who want to live. Yeah. like That makes it fun for me. Yeah. Like so, he's just so unhinged. From that just on, like you said, it was just kind of nonstop. I think obviously... They took Matilda, she gave the wrong code, and from the second that they knocked, he was gonna be ready. Yeah. But I did have a feeling that there was not any way he was gonna make it out of there. I mean, that building is insanely surrounded, hundreds of men. I mean, he took out dozens of people. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was, it was not a good situation at all. No, and I feel like if maybe it had a little bit more of like the shock of it, like not so much leading up to it, I feel like it kind of helped me to process it better, knowing that I was like, there's no way that he's gonna make it out. Yeah. The way that he sent Matilda down, I guess the vent system. Yeah. That moment was just so sad. So sad, like from the moment she realized, it's like, oh wait, no, this isn't big enough for both of us. Yeah, and she knew, that's why she didn't want to go down. And you know, he tried to convince her, which I, I mean, he didn't, <laughs> um, but she went down anyways. But that moment was just so sad. Like this is just, it was obviously like a goodbye yeah. for both of them. I mentioned during the reaction, but it was like a call back to Hannibal for me. Yeah, how Hannibal kind of was surrounded by cops and put on a mask and was able to escape. Yeah, so obviously Leon was not as successful. No, but you really, at least the first time I watched this, I really believed that he was possibly going to get out. Yeah. Um, up until the point where Stan, Gary Oldman's character, notices him. But it was a brilliant move to almost survive. And you get that point of view of him walking out through the bloody mask and stuff, and he's just all beat up. And he's, you know, finally when he starts seeing the outside world, and he's walking, it's all bright out there. It's all dark behind him. Like he's finally ready to like move into a different part of his life. Like when he was trying to send Matilda down, how he talked about like, I want to live. He wanted to use his money now. Like he wanted to put down roots and stuff. He had such a perfect expression on, on his face. And then you just transition to just Gary Oldman's crazy character. The music is so slow and sad and everything's in slow motion. And it just, that part- From the shadow. Yeah, from the shadow, that part where it just focuses on the, like the tip of his gun. And then you don't see it. You know, this this movie does a great job of not showing you a lot of like stuff. All you see is the lights just get very bright and then go back to normal and the camera falls down. Yeah. Yeah, that, it like kind of wavers. Yeah, that was that was perfect. Yeah, no, I mean the the film like itself, there's so many moments that I was like, this is art. Yeah. The way that they they use the music, they run through these transitions and they give you that perspective. All of it is just, it was so good. Yeah, and I'm gonna go in a little bit more detail about the, my feelings between the two versions, but the big reveal of like the grenades, I'm like 99% sure that in the version I saw, you never see that scene about the little ring trick. So 
in this version you do so you called it before it even really happened mm. so i was like shoot like i i wanted to, i wanted you to not figure it out for like a few more seconds yeah but you were super perceptive and they show you that specific scene early in the movie about the ring trick with the grenade so yeah he had the little closed hand and yeah you called it he had a little ring yeah i know as soon as soon as he had like his hand like kind of closed on him i was like uh and i knew he had like that big old belt that he always wore yeah you've seen the belt multiple times where he's just strapped with grenades so you, you figured he probably still has that on yeah oops <laughs> <laughs> no I, you got it because you were paying attention to the movie yeah it's such a weird ending because it feels perfect but it's still sad but then it's also good because he you know leon did kill all of the guys who were responsible i'm pretty sure all of them i think so yeah unless the big buff guy didn't get it now that i'm thinking about it but I don't know. But he still killed the main guy. Yeah. So it was this rewarding thing where like this shitty character when he finally like opens up Leon's vest and he's just like, oh shit. And then just a shot from the outside of this massive explosion. Yeah. It was it was just great. And then Matilda just walking off in the distance and, you know, going back to that school. Yeah, obviously Tony, you know. I'm glad that he came through and said that he would take care of her still. Obviously, I don't think that there's this huge sum of money no, anywhere. No, I think Tony was probably taking advantage of Leon this whole time. Yeah. Um, I'm sure he'll still help Matilda out from here to the, like here on, but you would think with how much work he probably did over like decades, he should have like millions of dollars. Yeah, practically. it's what five thousand a head. Five thousand a head. He's probably killed hundreds of people. Well, so yeah, so he's got to have hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars yeah. and he gave her a hundred dollars and said come back next month yeah. so shitty but you could also see he cared very much for him yeah he probably felt like that was like his son too yeah um but not the best situation for her no but you know they took her into the school yeah. they were willing to let her back so and i think those are you know that school's gonna be really good for her with like kids yeah she gets to be a kid so hopefully, you know, after all these terrible things she's had to experience, she can actually feel like a little kid. And I feel like that scene of her planting, putting roots to Leon's plant, that was, you know, a, a good way to kind of move on to the next part. Yeah, I loved it. I know I'm sitting here and I'm like, is it, they said Leon in the movie, right? Or is it Leon? I think it probably depends on your accent. I'm sure there's a correct way to say it, and I'm sure I'm not saying it correct. Well, I feel like we keep going back and forth. I feel like sometimes I probably say Leon, Leon, Leon. <laughs> so. So, who knows? Don't come for us. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, I, I really love this movie. I think it's just, the performances are just extraordinary. I'm a sucker for, like, sacrificing movies. So this, you know, fit perfectly. And then the action was great. The music was great. All of it was just great. The differences that I notice in the two versions, I actually want to say that I probably prefer the first version that I saw that had the less material. I think the original version, the one part that I kind of already touched on was like that little ring moment. So I feel like I, I don't think that scene was in the original or not in the original, I guess in the American version and I feel like that makes the end a little bit more surprising so I was like oh wow like that's a that was something that I noticed for sure and then you obviously noticed it too and then some of the other differences were I don't believe in the uh, version I saw that there were so many scenes where she was joining him on these like hitman missions yeah there was like a whole like montage yeah like dozens like she must have been in the room dozens of times while he was killing someone um, whereas I want to say that, again, my memory could just be bad, but I want to say that she only does that paintball thing with the um, guy in Central Park. In Central Park. I want to say that's pretty much the only thing that she does with him. So I kind of like the idea where she wasn't going on all of these kills because it keeps her a little bit more like kid like mm -hmm. it doesn't like grow her up so fast and then it for me it kind of makes her decision to go from barely any training to going after the dea guy a much more drastic and like shocking decision because she hadn't experienced all of this training yeah um so like again in this version 
I feel like you can pick up on the clues of the ending a little bit easier. Um, it makes her a little bit more grown up and um, it's not so shocking that she would attempt to try to take the DEA guy out by herself. And then obviously there was a lot more moments where they talk about like love and stuff between the two characters or specifically Matilda's <laughs> unhealthy viewpoint towards Leon in this version. Whereas in the other one, you walk that fine line, but you could still tell that it's like he takes it from a father daughter and she might take it from like, a, oh, I love you type of thing. Uh, but this one, it pushed it more towards uh, Matilda's viewpoint as opposed to Leon's viewpoint. Mm. Um, so those are the three main things that I, I still really, really loved this version. But yeah, just personally, I would probably side more with the cut down version. I don't know. I figured I would say my, my viewpoint on it. Yeah. I mean, you haven't, you never saw the other one. So this is the only first one you experienced. Yeah. I mean, this is the only one I've seen and I loved it. Yeah, me too. I would be interested to kind of read up on the differences between the two and maybe take a look at the other version as well. Yeah. Um, but I'm very happy with it. I, I loved this film. Yeah, no, I mean, you really can't go wrong with either version. I mean, both of these are, in my opinion, just like masterful movie making amazing storytelling. I mean, I can't rave enough about this movie, regardless of which version it is. Yeah. Um, so I'm super glad to be able to share this movie with you because it's definitely, I only own three or four movies. I think I've said this before. I own Saving Private Ryan, Mad Max Fury Road, Shaun of the Dead, and Leon. I thought I owned Leon the Professional, but apparently I owned The, the professional, professional, I think is the version that I probably have. Um, so yeah, so those are the four. So this is one of the four movies that I own. That's how much I really like this movie. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm glad I was actually able to, to share it with you. Yeah, no, I'm really, really happy that we got to watch this. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.